Hey guys, Demon Shrub here, and uh, welcome to Shrub Town. Today we're going to talk about what I believe are the best three decks uh, for the new climb next season. So as you guys know, every month the season restarts, you get set back for ranks and Hearthstone, uh, which means that you're kind of back to the beginning or back where you started. Uh, so if you are rank 4 and you're going for that Legend Climb, or even if you're rank 15 and you just want to get to rank 10 for the first time, or rank 5, uh, I've put together three deck lists, which I believe are going to be kind of dependent on your uh, specific type of play, by the way. If you are a more aggressive mid-range or control player, uh, they're going to be great decks for you to climb. They're really popular right now. They're pretty high on their win ratio, which is really cool. Uh, so without further ado, those three decks are Token Druid, uh, which is, again, the more late-game, mid-game to the late-game stage. So some wouldn't even classify that as a control. I kind of do just because of the late-game uh, potential that it kind of has. Uh, the more mid-range one is going to be Death Rattle Hunter, because uh, that one, again, I'll post all the deck lists below. But it's very good at handling the mid-range and kind of poking out your opponent right when they're not really... Uh, they're not ready for uh, to have a, a massive board that they have to go against that suddenly. Uh, and then the very fast deck, the aggressive deck, is the Odd Rogue deck. They're all good against other matchups, and they're bad against certain matchups. Uh, so without further ado, let's just get first into Odd Rogue, the aggressive deck. So this is Thiz's list of uh, T-H-I-J-S. Uh, this is his list of, uh, of Odd Rogue that he's actually taking to an upcoming tournament. Uh, the strategy with this deck is you really want to just play on curve. Uh, so as you know, Baku changes your hero power from... Uh, just your original, you get a 1-2 dagger to a 2-2 two, two dagger, so you're sometimes going to use that on turn 2 unless you have coin, in which case you'll want to get out things like Vicious Fledgling on turn 2, maybe in a Hench Clan Thug. You want to play your matchup and kind of see what you're going against. Uh, on turn 1, you're really looking for, in your mulligan, you're looking for Argent Squire, Dire Moles, Firefly. Depending on the matchup, you might even want a South Sea Deccan in your hand. You're not really looking for Cold Bloods or Deadly or Poisons that early, but if you do get a Cold Blood, it's a really fun combo with Argent Squire super early that you can get out just a 5-1 uh, super quickly uh, that your opponent can't really deal with easily. Uh, again, against your Druids, you're more so looking for Blink Fox, something you can kind of counter their cards with. Against something like Priest, you might be looking for a Vicious Fledgling and a Hanch Clan Thug because that allows you to kind of get massive threats that are on your 3-drop on board. And also this deck only runs one Giggling Inventor but two Blood Knights. Uh, so really watch out for that because Giggling Inventor is so popular right now. Blood Knights are the major counter for it. Uh, so we have two Blood Knights in this deck, not only to potentially proc our own Divine Shield minions, but also to defeat your opponent's Divine Shield minions and give you a 9-9. Nine, nine. Uh, even something like a 6-6 six, six would still be helpful. So that's the Aggressive Rogue deck. Again, I'll post all of these decks uh, in the description below so you'll be able to, to copy the deck code and use them for yourself. Next one on the list is Midrange Death Rattle slash Cube Hunter. Uh, so this is... Again, there's a lot of lists that are kind of floating around that are similar. Uh, I've kind of tailored this one a little bit more to myself. Some are on two tracking, some are on two stitch tracker, some are on two Serenite Chain Gang or two Giggling Inventor. Uh, I've kind of taken it down to one tracking in case I'm going to, against a deck that does play a Skulking Geist, which completely removes my one cost cards. Again, you'll see Skulking Geist right here. It destroys both the, destroys all one cost spells in both your hands and deck. So we don't want to really get rid of any of these one cost spells. So if we end up having to get rid of them, we have Stitch Tracker to kind of pull up where uh, we're falling behind. Only one Serenite Chain Gang in case we do get off Prince Kalaseth early enough. With this deck, your main strategy is getting your Death Rattle minions out uh, super early and then procking them through things like Play Dead, Tarot, Tarot Scale Stalker, or even Carnivorous Cube. Uh, so I usually always try to mulligan for Prince Kalaseth, uh, Candle Shot. If I'm against something like... Uh, a really big Warlock, I might do Hunter's Mark just in case they have a really big minion they drop. Spider Bombs are pretty good in the early game. Uh, even something like Flanking Strike, if you're going against a Shaman or something, that might drop minions. Uh, then if you do get Devil Sword Egg in your opening hand and something like Play Dead or Tarot, Scar, Tarot Scale Stalker, awesome. Super good play. You just kind of want to overrun their board as early as possible, but the reason why this is a mid-range deck is because it has a lot of these mid to even possibly late, but let's stick with mid game, uh, cards that just kind of seal the deal. So your late game, late game card here is Deathstalker Rexar. If all else fails, it consistently can give you BC's turn. Uh, as well as Katharina Winterwisp is just amazing. So the play that I love more than anything is you get a Katharina Winterwisp out. She summons a King Crush for you. Next turn, if your King Crush survives, you can not only cube it, 
but also st uh, Tarot Scale Stalker and even Play Dead for... I, it essentially is a 32-24-16 combo to just completely uh, finish off your opponent, uh, which is awesome. So, again, look out for that combo with King Crush, Carnivorous Cube, and then either Tarot Scale Stalker or Play Dead. If you don't have that combo, just play on Curve. This deck has a really good Curve of 1-2-3 and then just kind of late game minions, so play on that. Again, one Giggling Inventor. It's really popular right now, but it's also getting uh, countered a bit with uh, Blood Knights, so just be careful about that. Uh, Houndmaster Shaw, again, makes this deck a little more expensive, but he almost seals the deal if he's not contested. So it's a nice 4-drop in case they don't really have a big board presence. Uh, also, one Mossy Horror to take care of things like their Giggling Inventor if you're going against a Druid. It takes care of their Spreading Plagues, so keep that in mind. If you guys have any questions about any of these decks, by the way, please feel free to uh, ask in the... Uh, comment section below uh, just so I can address it for you and kind of ask what you would do specifically with certain decks. So now the very last one that we're going to talk about today is Token Druid. So this one's been getting a lot of popularity lately. People are saying it is either the second or the first strongest Druid deck right now, uh, with the first one being Maligos Druid. I do kind of consider this one the first best, uh, just personally, because I think it has a better consistent matchup against a lot of uh, decks. Let's say you're going against Odd Warrior, which there are a lot of right now. Token Druid just performs better against Maligos Druid. Sometimes you can't burn through all of their health with Maligos Druid. But with Token Druid, you just get to keep resetting your board and getting more minions every time. This one actually does run two Giggling Inventors. If you're not on the, the side where you want to do that, you can swap out one or both for Naturalize or for another Oaken Summons. So Naturalize is run in some of these versions too. Destroy Minion, your opponent draws uh, two cards. Uh, the other one is this deck only runs one copy of Oaken Summons to get out your Violet Teachers. Uh, the reason why it only runs one instead of two is if you've already drawn both of your Violet Teachers, Oaken Summons pretty much just becomes a gain six armor. For four mana, it's not great. You really do want that minion with it. The way how it helps is with Lesser Jasper Spellstone even. Uh, that kind of just is a bit of a safeguard, but this game is more of a late game deck. Uh, you are kind of just controlling the game in the early game. You're looking for your Wild Growth to just ramp, gain up to Mana Crystals. You're looking for a Lesser Dash Spellstone to finish off their minions, as well as Swipe. And then once you get out your Violet Teachers, then you want to start ramping with cards. Again, it has Gillian Inventor more for stall than for anything else. Uh, but Spreading Plague against your Zoo decks, like even against your Odd Rogue decks in a lot of cases. Uh, and then, once you have a big board, you want to combo with Soul of the Forest to protect your board. So let's say you have six minions out, you Soul of the Forest uh, for four mana, then you use something like Power of the Wild to buff your minions. So a nice combo is, let's say you're on turn 10, you have 10 cards in hand, you use Whispering Woods, you have seven one ones on the board, you buff them all up, Power of the Wild to make them 2-2s, two and then you give them Soul of the Forest, so when they die, they summon another 2-2. Two -two. Really hard board to deal with for almost any class. Clearing a full AoE two times, uh, Warlock can do that, but Warlock's not really popular right now. Control Mage can do that, but only with their two five-cost spells, Dragon's Fury, and that's not insanely popular right now. Um, so again, I think this is one of the best decks in the meta. I think if you're looking to climb, you're looking for a quick climb, that this might actually be the best one to get it done. Odd Rogue still has worse counters, and also Death Rattle Hunter does too. But Token Druid is almost green across the board of its matchups. Of It just does well consistently against a lot of different classes. Uh, again, by the way, with this deck, you're looking for ramp and then also card draw. So uh, without further ado, that is the three decks that I consider are going to be your best decks to climb the uh, ladder with at the start of the next season. Uh, so please, everyone, best of luck in September uh, on your Legend climb or on your Rank 5 climb or even Rank 10. Good luck on making it to that, that next rank, that next threshold. Uh, so guys, I was Demon Shrub. Thanks for coming to Shrub Town today. And if you like this video, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out and really helps out uh, everyone that's involved in making these videos so that we can keep giving you this content week after week. Uh, so thank you guys again. I really do appreciate it. Shrub out.